On this episode of the Elsinore Gardener, we go on a gem of a rescue. Here we are out in Menifee, California, where I planted this tree to see how they would do out here. And uh, because of the extremely cold nights and the wind we have out here, you can obviously see this gem avocado didn't like it. But we do have some green stems still. So we're gonna take this out of the ground and save it, cut it back a little, and then plant it in a container. Because it was in good soil, it was in the right soil, it's just in the wrong location. And that happens with avocados, that's why they don't grow everywhere real good. So we'll get this uh, dug up and show you what we do next. And you can see that the, the wind did not like this avocado. The wind and the cold nights in the 20s took its toll. So let me get this dug up. Then we'll show you how we're going to repot this to bring it back. Got a little bit of carnage left from the roots here. So we'll get this thing in the container, trim it up, and try and bring it back. Okay, folks, I'm back home, and I, let me tell you, this is as an extreme a case as I've ever tried to save a tree. Uh, still got some green on it. That's why I'm going to give it a try here. But there will be a little tree murder in this video. Trees will be harmed in the making of this video. So, still got a good root ball here. Let me show you how I start to prep the pot. What I do is I'll put rocks around these holes so we still have good drainage. Got them around all the holes in here. Then we'll fill it with a well uh, aerated draining soil so those roots get a lot of oxygen. And I'll show you what that looks like here right in a moment. All right, I've got uh, Gary's Top Pot Soil, which is my favorite soil to use. Very well aerated, but you can see on this bottom section I'm gonna put into this container, I'm gonna add some more pumice. So I get some more airflow down there I'm trying to revive this tree, so I want a lot of oxygen, a lot of water movement. Hopefully, uh, that'll bring this thing back. So let's get this thing mixed in. I'll probably put, you know, four or five extra handfuls to really get this aerated. And then I'll load it into the bottom quarter of that, that uh, container there. Okay, as you can see now, got uh, the pot about. 20% full right now. What I'm going to do now is moisten this bottom soil here. I want these roots going into a nice moist soil. Then we're going to saturate. Oh, sorry. Then we're going to saturate the root ball in this container, and it'll force out all the air bubbles in there, but still give us the the ability to have that soil breathe and drain, as you can see it's doing now. So I'll come back in a moment. We'll get the uh, plant in there, and then we will show you what it looks like. All right, I've got it uh, filled up here. I'm gonna water this in, and that's gonna settle a lot of that soil around the open spaces and the roots. Then I'll continue to put in soil. I've added just a little bit of worm castings. I'll put a little bit of slow-release fertilizer just in case this thing does take. It's still a crapshoot. There's a lot of dead stuff on it. I can get that to focus. You can see a lot of dead stuff. That's going to have to be trimmed off this thing. It's still got a lot of green. It gives me hope. So hang on and we'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. And you can see how the soil has sunken down around those roots. Continue to poke holes in there to get it to settle. I'm going to add more soil. Do it again. Well, I've got the thing pretty much filled up with soil, and you can see I'm still going to add some more water uh, and get this to a soupy kind of mix. So all the sand and all the good product in here gets around those roots, and I'll continue to water this and show you. I want to get this in a soupy kind of mix, so uh, this will pump all the air bubbles out. You can see it as it's settling, and it drops the soil down around those roots. Now, obviously, what we have left of this root ball will not support a seven-foot-tall tree. So we are probably going to cut this thing back 
at least two feet down from here. I'm gonna say in this area, I'll take a look at it, see what we have uh, that's living. We got a lot of good living limbs here, down here, but I don't have enough roots that was supporting this, or even not supporting this last time. So I'm gonna start a little bit of tree trimming here in a moment, but I think I've got the roots in the container the way I want them. Now it's just taking all this burnt stuff off, get us to back where we can start getting some budding on this thing, which is what we want. We want this thing to start pushing buds again, pumping the leaves out. We're giving up on fruiting this year. We're just trying to save it. So we'll be back in a moment when we do that. Okay, so we're back here. Now we're gonna find a place to cut this. I know I've got some living tissue up there, but I just don't think I have the roots that are gonna allow me to keep this thing pumping water up there. So I've got these three branches right here. Got these two here. You see how these are dying back here. So I'm thinking we are gonna cut it right in here, right in this area here. Come and cut it at an angle. See if I can get it with these, or if I need some uh, loppers. And we got, looks like we have good tissue there. I couldn't get it with these clippers here. It's not easy to do one-handed. Get open, you son of a gun. Little tree murder. Cover your eyes if they're squeamish. There we go. I mean, the whole point of this is getting this tree to survive. Now, I don't have to pump water another two feet in the air, and this still may need a little work, but this is where I'm going to leave it. So you can see how the soil is still settled even more. I'm going to add a little more soil than mulch, put this in a shady location, then we'll come back and do updates on it. I might trim it up a little more off camera, but this is how you try and save a tree. And that's... Uh, it's pretty extreme. Uh, this was a gem. I don't know if I mentioned to say that. Uh, a gem avocado. So it's not a cheap avocado tree. This thing I think was $150 when I got them last year. I got a video on that uh, that I may post when they both came in. This one we put in the ground. The other one we put in a container. Let me show you what the one in the container looks like right now. This is the same tree we had last year. We put in a container. It's grown about you can see I haven't whitewashed it, so you can see all this four feet of growth here. And this tree is just, it's the same variety of gem. We got them in Temecula. This one's got one little fruit on it, right there. This tree's not without its issues, but it is a healthy tree. It hasn't started flowering yet but it looks like it's getting ready to. When it does, we'll uh, have an update on it. But these two were bought at the same time last year, and you can see the difference in the one in the ground in the area out in Menifee that got too cold and too much wind, and the one that was protected here a little more in a container here in Lake Elsinore. Not that it doesn't get cold and hot out here, but uh, being on wheels on a container like it is, I can roll it underneath our little awning here when it gets super hot or super cold. And it just changes the temperature enough when it's cold to keep it from burning. So you can see the health of these leaves. And then when it's really hot, we can move it under here too or only give it partial shade. So thanks again for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Be happy to answer those and we'll do some updates on that tree here in a month or two, see if we can get it blooming or budding at all. Thanks again, Scott, the Elsinore Gardener, signing off.